Hello. This video is a walkthrough of the process of making a PowerPoint presentation that includes a voiceover narration. This is a great option if you're in a situation where you want to provide your viewer with the ability to view the slides at their own pace. There are a number of other additional options and functions to this that only improve the accessibility and usability of your PowerPoint slides. It's worth noting that this is only done on a desktop version of Microsoft PowerPoint. Office 365's online version of PowerPoint doesn't have this capability. So after you've downloaded PowerPoint and you've got your slides complete, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've rehearsed a number of times. Making sure that you're comfortable with your content will cut back on the frustration and headache of having to record and re-record and re-record your presentation later on. So once you're comfortable and you've rehearsed your presentation a few times, you then want to make sure that you've got all of your options selected. So to start recording your slideshow, it's in the middle here under the slideshow tab. This button right here, record slideshow, is where we'll head up in a second. But before that though, let's go through a couple of the options. First, just to the right of that is this play narrations box. In a situation where I want the presentation to, ju to just launch and as soon as the viewer opens it and presses play from the beginning over here, this would be the option I'd select. But because I want the viewer to have the most control as possible over the, the slides and the progress of the presentation, I'm going to leave this off. But I'm going to make sure that this Show Media Controls box is selected, and as we'll see at the end, it provides a progress bar and a volume slider to the viewer. The example of this is right down here. Play, back, forward, volume slider, right? The other option that I want to spend a little bit of time on, though I can't spend too much time in this video because the microphone I'm using is being made to record this video. If I had a microphone accessible to PowerPoint right now, I would have a little bit, you would be able to see the subtitles in action. But for now, I always have this checked because then it put, embeds the subtitles into the actual presentation. A few settings to keep in mind, the language spoken, the subtitle language, the microphone being used, and the position of those captions. If you're on a Windows machine, I'm not sure if this is on a Mac, but the more settings here will provide you with machine level options, mostly aesthetics, but it is there. This is a fantastic option. Uh, you know, for accessibility and in improved usability. So let's go through the process of recording. As you can see, I've already had a recording here. I'm going to go ahead and this is what it would sound like. And we're off. And now I'm recording on this, on this particular slide. Okay. So let's say I want to go ahead and clear this off. The first thing I'm going to do is clear the recordings on all slides so we can start this from example from scratch. A fairly straightforward interface. I'll just quickly go through some of the options. On the upper left we've got record, stop, and replay. We've got our notes. If we have notes for any slides they'll show up here. As I just showed you, there's the clear option up in the upper right. I can clear the recording on all, the entire presentation or just the current slide. Again, this is fantastic, so I don't have to re-record the entire presentation. I, can only, I only have to re-record a, sl a slide that I'm not happy with. Settings over here, pretty limited, just your microphone and the webcam that you want to use. However, this is really important because there's nothing worse than getting through a presentation and you've aced it and finding out that your microphone's been off the entire time. Down in the lower left, 
lower, pardon me, lower right. I've got a few options here. I can turn the microphone on and off. I can turn the camera on and off, or, and I can provide a, a preview. Now, because my camera is being, again, used by the software being used to record this video, I don't have that option, but normally if I wanted this, I could have an inset of my webcam down here in the corner. Just fantastic. The other tools on the middle here are a highlighter and pen. And as I'm, as I'm presenting, I can record right on the presentation. Let's go ahead and do it. Upper left, hit record, three, two, one, and we're off. So now it's going to be recording uh, my voice on top of this slide. It will embed this narration on this slide along with any sort of activity, like a highlight or a pen. Any sort of interaction with those slides will also be recorded. It's worth noting before I start transitioning to another slide that any voice that is being presented uh, will not be recorded over any transition between slides. So make sure that you're finished recording before going to the next one. On the next slide here, it's gonna start me off with an entirely new segment of narration. You can have a little timer down in the lower left telling me how much time I've spent on this individual slide, as well as the total presentation. Let's say that I'm not really happy with the way this particular slide has turned out. I can stop it. I can clear the recording from the current slide. Three, two, one, and start over. So now I've got a, starting a new recording on this slide. I'm going to stop that, close it out, and I can see that here is my highlights that remained on the recording. And on the lower left, I've got the icon that's telling me that the presentation does have a uh, narration on it. So if I'm the recipient of this, and we're off. So now it's going to be recording, if I'm the recipient of this view, this, uh, these slides, I can watch it at my own pace, relatively, you know, for each individual slide. If I play from the beginning, it's not going to have this option. But you can see, however, that <laughs> it's taken over my microphone and the captions are popping up. All right. So that's the process of putting together a presentation using PowerPoint that includes a voiceover narration. This is a great convenient tool and option if you are in those situations where you're, sh you're distributing slides and you want to give the user the ability to uh, view a presentation and it's conveniently uh, used through PowerPoint without having to use any external software. Thanks for watching.